Did you all sleep well? 大家睡得好吗 ？Many dreams. 有没有做梦 ？Me your lie. 哎呦。Did you pray? 有没有祷告？有。Okay. You all can sit. 尊<笑>重。请坐，请坐。Uh, Last night I was told that I quoted the scriptures too fast for you all. 昨天有人告诉我说呢，我们讲的经文太快了。真的吗？真的。哎呦，哎呦。<laughs> okay, now I'll repeat them again for you all. 现在为大家呢，我们再重复这些经文。So that you can write them. 以至于大家可以把它写下来。Meditate them. Please remember one thing. Please remember one thing. This is God's promise for you. This is God's unpow for you. Amen. Amen. So the theme or the title of the message is called "God Will Gather You and Honor You." So we this year's theme is "God Will Gather You and Honor You." Zephaniah chapter three verse twenty. 西班牙书三章二十节。God will gather you. 神会聚集你。And he will honor you. 并且会尊荣你。This promise is found in ten scriptures in the Bible. 这样的应许在圣经里面一共讲了十次。Deuteronomy chapter thirty verse three and four. 生命记三十章第三第四节。Isaiah chapter forty three verse five. 以赛亚书四十三章第五节。Am I going very fast? 这样算快吗 ？No, slow. 太慢吗？慢慢。Oh, slow, little slow. Okay. I say, ah. Chapter fifty-four, verse seven. Isaiah 书五十四章第七节。五十四章第七节。Jeremiah chapter twenty-nine verse fourteen. Jeremiah 二十九章第十四节，二十九章十四节。The pronunciation of the books of the Bible, as I as I hear my interpreter, is the same pronunciation in Indian. 我说中文的啊，这个圣经的书卷名称的时候呢，它的发音跟印度话的发音是一样的。So we are big brothers and sisters. We are all a big brother and sister. Amen. Amen.、Mm. Ezekiel chapter eleven verse seventeen. Ezekiel chapter eleven verse seventeen. Chapter twenty verse thirty-four and forty-one. Twenty verse thirty-four and forty-one. Twenty verse thirty-four and forty-one. Ezekiel chapter thirty-six verse twenty thirty-four. Ezekiel 十六章三十四节 Ezekiel 三十六三十四 Oh, 好厉害！对不？对。When I was very small, 我很小的时候 ，All my friends are Taiwanese. 我所有的朋友都是台湾人。So that's why I learned to speak Taiwanese. 所以我就会说台湾话。Mm. Now, why God wants to gather us? 为什么神要聚集我们 ？If you gather something, means it has been scattered. 假如你要聚集什么东西，代表它原来是分散的。Means they have been forsaken. 他们已经被弃绝。So they need to be gathered back again. 以至于他们必须要再被收聚回来。So what caused the scattering? 为什么会被驱散 ？Because we have backslided. 因为我们退后冷淡。Backslided in our prayer life. 在我们的祷告生活里。Backslided in following God. 在我们跟随神的道路上。Backslided in living a righteous and holy life. 并且没有过一个正义、公义跟圣洁的生活。And we become like dross. 我们就像渣滓一样。Unclean. 不洁的。Impure, 不圣洁 very low quality. 这个品质很差 A precious stone shines. 宝石是会发光的 Dross is dull. 渣滓的颜色是非常晦暗的 No uniqueness to shine out. 
因为它没有一个独特性，它不能够发光。So this kind of a dross quality, the Bible calls in Ezekiel 22. 在以西结书二十二章，神称为这种啊渣滓的品质。17 to 22. 十七到二十二节告诉我们。In that passage of scripture, you'll find the quality of dross. 在这一段的经文里面呢，就告诉我们什么样的品质的东西叫做渣滓。You know when a gold or silver is dug from the ground. 当从地上把金银挖起来的时候 ，it is impure， 还是不纯净的 ，very bad in quality， 它的品质很差 ，so the jeweler will have to refine it， 以至于这个珠宝商呢必须要把它炼金了 ，at very high temperature of fire， 用非常高温度的火 ，they will refine the gold or silver， 然后把这个金银再重新炼金 ，have you seen this process？ 有没有看过这个过程？没有吗？没有 ，Then you all come to India. 那你你们通通到印度来。There are many jewelry. 在那里有很多的珠宝。I have seen this process. 我看过这个过程。Very high, extreme temperature of fire. 这个火的温度是极高极高的。Even the fl fiery flames looks like blue and yellow. 它的温度高到一个地步呢，这火焰不再是红色，而且而是蓝色跟黄色的。And how long does the process take? 那么这个过程要持续多久呢 ？It all depends how stubborn the gold is. 这完全在于这个金子有多么的顽固。How long will you be in the fiery furnace? 你到底要停在这个试炼的火中多久呢 ？It all depends. 完全是在于。For some person, it may take a short time. 对于某些人，只要短短时间就够。Some people are very stubborn. 有些人他好固执。Don't want to repent. 都不希望悔改。Don't want allow God to break. 也不希望神来破碎他。So they're very stubborn. 他们很固执。So the process may take a long time. 这样这个过程就要很久了。Some people may be so humble like a lamb. 有些人呢，他们是如此的谦卑，像只羔羊。And the process is very fast. 所以这个过程就很快了。So how long does the process take place? 这个在火炉当中到底要多久呢 ？What is a time for one person will not be the same time for another person. 这个时间对这个人来说是这样，对那个人来说不一定就是这样。Let me give you one example. 给你一个例子。Many years ago, one man came to me for prayer. 很多年前有个人来找我为他祷告。He was going through a big financial problem. 在他的生命中经历了极大财务上的困难。He has three small children. 他有三个小小孩。And his youngest baby is very small. 他最小的小孩非常小。Two girls, one boy. 两个女孩，一个男孩。He is an accountant. 他是一个会计。Has his own practice. 他有他自己的公司。When he came to me for prayer, 所以他来找祷告的时候呢 ，He was in debt. 他那时候欠债。Several millions of dollars in debt. 欠几百万的钱。And was going to lose his business. 他快要失去他的生意。Lose his house. 快要没有房子住。And he have to stay in the street. 必须要住在街上去了。This was his problem. So he asked all the preachers he knew in India to pray for him. He went to look for all the preachers he knew in India to pray for him. Everybody prayed for him. Everybody prayed for him. But there was no change in his situation. But his situation was not changed. Then he asked me to pray. He asked me to pray. So I prayed. I prayed. And the Lord said, "Very soon his problems will change." Very soon his problems will change. So he was so happy. 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 After three months, three months later, the problem is still the same. The problem is still the same. Many people think, many people think, and God say very soon. God say very soon. People are thinking soon means like this. People think soon means like this. People think soon means like this. But so after three months, his problem did not change. Three months later, his problem did not change. So he came to me for prayer again. 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 Please pray harder. 努力一点祷告嘛。So I okay. 我说好。好。好。We pray harder. 努力祷告。Harder means. 努力的意思。Raise the voice a little higher. 就是大声一点。Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So after the prayer. 祷告之后。Again, the Lord said. 主要说。Very soon. 很快。
So I was so happy. I was very happy. Because I prayed harder. 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 So he called me. 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 是不是？是。<笑> so I fasted and I prayed. 所以我真的进食祷告。And again the Lord said. 主又说。Tell him. 告诉他。Very soon. 很快。So why he was so upset? 他这时候真的生气啊。He was very angry. 非常愤怒。And he was also crying at the same time. 同时他也在哭。He said, "You don't understand my problem." 他说：“你根本不了解我的问题。” Okay, then he explained his story. 然后他就仔细跟我解释他的故事。Now please listen carefully. 现在仔细听了。His business was very blessed by God in the initial stages. 在他生意开始的时候非常蒙神祝福。Then he entered into a partnership. 然后他就跟人合伙。And the other partner is a non-Christian. 那个合伙人呢不是基督徒。Now some people ask a question. Is it all right to enter into a partnership, business partnership with a non-Christian? 在生意伙伴上是不是可以找非基督徒呢 ？This is a question very difficult to answer. 这个问题很难回答。You must ask God yourself. 你必须要自己去问神决定。Before he entered into the business, 在他进入生意之前 ，God warned him many times. Don't get into partnership. 不要去找人合伙。This is not good. 这是不好的。Because that partner is Hindu. 因为那个伙伴是印度教的。So God warned him many, many times. 神就警告他很多次。To other servants of God. 经由其他神的仆人。When he's reading the Bible, God spoke to him through the Word of God. 当他读圣经的时候，神借着神的话对他说话。But he did not obey God. 可是他不顺服神。Because he look at the profit margin. 因为他是看到他可以赚多么呃多少的利润。He was going to make a lot of money. 他想要赚很多的钱。So he signed the contract for partnership. 所以他就签合约了，要跟人合伙。So when the Hindu partner entered into his office, 当这个印度教的信徒跟他一起合伙 ，the first thing the Hindu partner did， 那么他这个伙伴所做的第一件事 ，made a small altar in the office for the Hindu god。他首先就在他们的办公室造一个小的神龛来供拜他的印度神。So this is wrong. 这是错的。Because now Satan come into your house. 现在撒旦跑进你的家，是不是 ？Evil spirit come inside. And then his business began to go down, down, down. His business got worse and worse, worse and worse, worse and worse. Because the presence of God went out. Because God's presence went out. Satan came inside. Satan came in. This was his problem. This was his problem. So this is a problem he created for himself. This is a problem he created for himself. My dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Bible says, God has promised to make you the head and not the tail. Amen. Amen. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. You shall not borrow. You shall learn to many people. Verses one to fourteen. 一到十四节 There are fourteen kinds of blessings for the children of God. 对于神的孩子有十四种的祝福 Fourteen kinds of blessings to them who will obey God. 凡顺服神的就有这十四种祝福 But when you disobey, 可是当你不顺服 From verses sixteen to twenty-eight. 从十六到二十八节 There are twenty-eight kinds of curses that come. 就有二十八种的咒诅临到。You read 
chapter 28 and you see for yourself. When you obey God, Fourteen kinds of blessings. When you don't obey God, Satan gives you twenty-eight kinds of curses. Satan gives you twenty-eight kinds of curses. Please remember one thing. So, you have to remember one thing. God does not curse us. God does not curse us. But when you walk away from God's will, 可是假如你离开神的旨意 ，then Satan comes bringing curses. Satan 就带给你咒诅。So instead of being the head, you become the tail. 你没有做手，你反而做尾了。Instead of lending to others. Which means financial prosperity in your life and in your family. 意思就是在你个人生活以及家庭生活中绰绰有余。You always have a lack. 你总是会有缺乏。What you earn does not stay. 你所赚的钱都留不住。It's like you put your money in a basket, but the basket is empty. 好像你把你的钱放在一个桶子里，可是这个桶子是漏的。You understand? 懂吗？懂吗？懂。So this was his problem. This is his problem. So he cried. He cried. I'm going to lose my house. Now I don't have a house anymore. I'm going to lose everything. Nothing is left. Me and my family with three small children. I and my family have three small children. I cried for him. I cried for him. I prayed sincerely. 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 Three years of refining. Three years of refining. Was mold the fire of God was molding him. God's fire was molding him. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide from God. You know, it takes one day to backslide Because in Jerus in in the Jewish culture, there is a tradition that when the male child reaches 12 years of age, 犹太文化当中呢，当这个小男孩十二岁的时候 ，they must be brought to the temple. 他们必须要被带到会堂 ，something like a baptism service. 就好像那个受浸的敬礼一样。And after the ceremony was over, they all were returning back to Nazareth. Now, if you read the passage carefully, 假如你仔细读这段经文 ，the scripture says， 经文说 ，they left Jerusalem， 他们离开耶路撒冷 ，one day's journey， 走了一天了。After one day's journey， 一天之后 ，Mary realized that Jesus was not with them。玛利亚才发现耶稣怎么没有跟他们一起走。So how many days they were separated from Jesus？ 所以他们跟耶稣分开了几天呢？一个，一天，一天。Please remember this. 记得，一天，一天。And then they returned back to Jerusalem. 然后他们就跑回耶路撒冷。It took them 三天，花了三天才回去。Three days to find him. 花了三天才找到他。Now please observe this. 你要仔细观察。One day to lose him. 你一天就失去了他。Three days to find him back. So maybe that's a ratio. Maybe this is the ratio. You fall one day. 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 You Then you become so dry. 里面就非常的枯干。When you want to get back, 然后你想回去的时候 ，very difficult. 非常困难。Have you experienced that? 有没有经历过这样的事？有没有 ？See, very easy to fall down. 你要跌倒很容易。But it'll take you a long time to climb up again. 可是要爬回来却很困难。But you must climb. 可是你必须要这样子。If you don't climb, 你不爬。No helicopter will come to pick you up. 不会有直升机来把你捡起来。Please remember that. 所以要记得。No helicopter. 哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。没有来。When you watch a TV program, 当你看电视 ，there's a little commercial break. 有一个广告休息时间。So in my message there was a little commercial break. So in my message, there was a little commercial break. So in my message, there was a little commercial break. So in my message, there was a little commercial break. So in my message, there was a little commercial break. So in my message, there was a little commercial break. So in my message, there was a little commercial break. So in my message, there was a little commercial break. So in my message, there was a little commercial break. So in my message, there was a little commerc
So no helicopter will come. 没有直升机会来。I remember one very funny story now. 我现在想起来一个非常有趣的故事。Do you like stories? 喜不喜欢听故事 ？Amen. There was once in a small village in India. 有一次在印度一个小村落里。A very godly grandma. 有非常一个敬虔的祖母。Always pray. 总在祷告。Very faithfully she go to church. 她非常忠实的去教会。She gives her tithes and she gives her offering. 并且有十一根奉献。So one day. 有一天。There was heavy rains. 下雨下得很大。And the rivers began to overflow. 这时候呢，河水就涨出来了。And the government sent out a warning. 那么政府就给他们一个警告。Everybody in the lowland go up to highland. 住在低地的地方都要搬到高处去。A flood is about to break. 快要有洪水了。So this grandma prayed. 这个祖母就祷告。Oh, yes, so. Yes, so. I'm very poor. 我很穷哎。Very old. 很老啊。I have no children. No one to help me. Please help me. Please help me. And the waters began to come into the village. Then the water came into the village. Everybody started running. So they looked. Some of her neighbors told her. 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 Some of her neighbors And then the army came. And all the while this grandma was praying. When this grandma was praying, Oh Lord Jesus, can you help? And then the army came. And then the army came. With boats to help all rescue the people. They were pulling the boats to see if they had not come out to save them. So the army soldiers told the woman. So the army soldiers told the woman. So the army soldiers told the woman. Come into this boat. 来来来，进到这个船。We have come to rescue you. 我们来拯救你。She said, No, 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 no. 她说不要。My God is coming. 我的神要来。He will send his angel to save me. 他会差遣他的天使来拯救我。And the water became higher. 然后这个水涨得更高。And her house was flooded. 她的房子充满了水。So she climbed on the rooftop. 她就跑到这个屋顶上。And she was crying. 她就哭。Oh, yes, so. Yes, so. Why you are not sending help? Why 什么你都没有在帮助我 ？And a vehicle came. 一周之后。哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。听到这个声音。什么？升机。直升机 ，helicopter. Ah, very good. 很好。Helicopter came. 直升机来了。And the soldier said. 这个军人说。Grandma. 祖母啊。We are dropping this basket. 现在我们给你这个篮子。Get into the basket. 然后你就跳进这个篮子。We'll pull you up. 我们就把你拉起来。So the grandma said. 这个祖母就说。My love. 不要。My Jesus is coming. 我的耶稣要来。He will send his angel. 他会差遣他的天使。So the waters rose up. 然后水就涨得更高。And the poor grandma died. 可怜的祖母就死了。Everybody else was safe. 大家都得救。This grandma died. 这个祖母死了。So when she died. She was in heaven. She saw the Lord Jesus. She saw the Lord Jesus. She ran to 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 Jesus. She All the angels standing beside the Lord were also surprised. 所有的天使站在主旁边也非常的惊讶。Why this woman is so angry? 你为什么这么生气呢 ？Even the Lord Jesus was so shocked. 主耶稣也很惊讶。Why she so angry? 你为什么这么生气 ？So the grandma shouted at the top of her voice. 然后呢，祖母就尽她所能大声喊叫。I was your faithful follower. 我是忠实的跟随你的。Every day I go to the church. 每一天都去教会。I'm the first person in the row. 我坐在第一排。So close to the musu. 跟牧师这么靠近。And when when they ask for prayer, 当他们说祷告 ，I'm the first person to pray at the top of my voice. 我就是尽我全力大声祷告。Every day I give offering. 每一天我都有奉献。She went on bragging about her spiritual life. 她就一直在为她的属灵生活夸口。So the Lord Jesus was patiently listening to her. 
主耶稣非常有耐心的听他讲完。All the angels were taking notes what she was telling. 天使们都把他所说的事情记下笔记。Because they will have to check in their record books to see whether what she's saying is correct. 因为天使要去回去查他们的书，看看这个女人说的是不是真的。So then the grandma cried. 然后祖母就哭了。I was so faithful. 我对你这么忠实。Why did you forsake me? 你为什么丢弃我？ So the Lord Jesus said, "Do Jesus say, 'My dear daughter, 我亲爱的女儿 I heard your prayer. 我听到你的祷告 I sent my children to help you to get out of your house before the waters came. 在洪水还没到之前，我就差遣我的孩子去拯救你 You did not come out. 你不出来 I sent an army of boat to help you. 我差遣一军队的船去帮助你 You did not get into the boat. 你不跳进船里 Then finally, I sent a helicopter for you. 最后我还差遣一个直升机给你。But you refused my help. 你还拒绝接受帮助。Three times I sent help. 三次我差遣帮助。But you refused. 你都拒绝。So you died. 所以你死了。This is many times our problem. 很多时候这就是我们的问题。We look at wrong sources. 我们都是寻求错误的资源。We don't look to God. 我们没有真的仰望神。God can send help to us in many ways. 神可以差遣帮助以各样不同的方式。Amen. Amen. So this man with all his financial problem cried. 这个有很多财务问题的人，他哭了。So I was so moved with compassion for him. 我里面对他太有怜悯。I prayed for him with sincerely. 我是很真诚的为他祷告。I pleaded with the Lord. To help him, forgive him for all his mistakes. 赦免他所有一切的错误。Then the Lord Jesus told me. 主耶稣说。Ask him to come to your meeting. 叫他到你的聚会。We were going to have a special meeting. 我们有一个特殊的聚会。Say, ask him to come to that meeting. 他说，你叫他去。And I will bless him. 我就会祝福他。So he came to the meeting. 他就来到这个聚会。And in that meeting, as I was praying, 当我正在祷告 I saw the heavens opened. 我看到天打开 And the glory of God began to shine down. 神的荣耀照下来 It shined on His head. 照在他的头上 And the word of the Lord came unto me. 主的话临到我 The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. 神的荣耀在你里面兴起 You shall arise and shine. 你要兴起发光 So I gave him that word. Within three months, 三个月之内 ，all his problems solved. 所有的问题都没有了。All his misfortune turned around, and he became prosperous. 他的不幸都离开他，他就赚了很多的钱。Now, what was his initial problem? 他原来的起初问题是什么 ？Why did he, instead of being the head, became the tail? 他没有做首，反而做尾了。Why did he, instead of lending to others? Became a borrower. He 本来应该可以借给人的，为什么向人借贷了 ？Because he walked away from God. 因为他离开了神。When God began to prosper him, 当神让他丰盛 ，he was not paying his tithes properly. 他没有好好的奉献。He began to fall back on his tithes. 他在奉献之上呢，退后冷淡。Because he was using his tithes to make investment. 因为他把他的十一拿去投资。That is a sin. 这是罪。He even had a record book. 他甚至于有他的账簿。He showed me the record book. 他就给我看。Said Musu, look at this. 他说牧师，你看看。I'm not cheating God. 我没有欺骗神。I have the records of how many months of tithes I owe God. 我已经记下来，我欠神十一到底有几个月。He was so proud to show that. 他还很骄傲的给我看。He was also honest to admit it. 他很诚实的承认。So I told him. 我就告诉他。Since you are not giving your tithes. 既然你没有十一。God also has a record book. 神也有个账簿。How many months of blessings he owes you? 他欠你多少个月的祝福？ What you sow is what you reap. 你种什么种，你就收什么果。Amen. Please remember that. If you withhold your giving, 假如你把你的奉献收起来不给 ，God also withholds His blessings upon you. 神也把他的祝福收起来不给你。You cannot expect God's blessings to come upon your life if you withhold your giving. 假如你不奉按照神的方式奉献，你怎么能够期待神的祝福临到你？
Several years ago, I was speaking at a church in Taipei. Three days meeting. The church was full, over full with people. So during the prayer, the Lord Jesus told me, There is a robber sitting here in the meeting. Everybody looks like wonderful Christians to me. How can there be a robber? So when the Lord said there is a robber sitting here, I opened my eyes to see. Who knows someone will be cutting, taking the handbag and running away. Everybody closing the eyes and praying. So I made sure I was watching. So I made sure I was watching. Then the Lord Jesus said, There is a robber sitting in the meeting. You called out that person right now. And the Lord Jesus pointed his finger. Actually, he walked down the aisle. He walked down the center aisle to where that man was. He said, This is the person. Not this girl. This good girl. The good girl? <laughs> he said, This is the person. So then I asked the Lord. But he looks so like a fine gentleman. That man was so nicely dressed. He looked like a businessman. How can he be a robber lord? Then the Lord told me, All about his life. He, when he was a small businessman, he was so faithful to God. He was praying to God. Lord, prosper me. So that I can use all my profit for your work. And God began to prosper him. When his profits grew, when his business grew, he began to withheld his blessings. He withheld giving to God. He stopped giving tithes and offerings to God. So the Lord said, tell him, he has robbed my money. Don't laugh. This is not funny. If you read Malachi chapter 3, verse 10 to 12, there the scripture says, All those who don't give their tithes, they are robbers. You have robbed God. That 10% doesn't belong to you. It belongs to God. So when you don't give the tithes, then you are keeping what that which does not belong to you. When you Keep something that doesn't belong to you. Then you are a robber. So, so I, I told, there is a man standing in this meeting. And I describe all about his life. I did not want to embarrass him publicly. But for a long time, was so stubborn. Maybe it was his pride that did not allow him to humble himself. So many people were repenting. But he will not bend down his knees and repent. So finally the Lord told me, Tell him, If he does not repent tonight, Then, Satan will come to destroy all his finances. Then Satan will come to steal all his finances. Let me tell you one truth. When you live a righteous life, see the Bible says, the angel of the Lord encamps round about you. What does that mean? 
For many, for a long time, I did not understand the scripture. 长久以来，我不了解这节经文。Until one day, 一直到有一天 ，when I was conducting a prayer meeting， 我在举行一个祷告会。I saw the archangel Michael. 我看到天使长米迦勒。And he explained to me what that scripture meant. 他就跟我讲说这个经文到底是什么意思。He said, when the Bible says the angel of the Lord will encamp round about you. 当圣经说呢，神的天使在你四围安营的时候。He explained to me like this. He 跟我说 ，Okay, let's for example use my interpreter. 我啊，他用我。Okay, for a person like her. 就像我这样。Okay, I need four volunteers. 啊，我们要四个志愿者出来。Kakin 来。快点，快点出来。Kakin 来。啊 ，Kakin, Kakin. Okay, please stand here. 好，你站在这儿。啊，站着。哦，不是不是，我。啊，你站前面。好，站在这边。好，再两个人来。来来来来来来来来来往外一点，朝外，对，好，好，请往后，对。那 How many person is is necessary to stand around this interpreter？ 那么有多少人？呃，要花多少人才能够把我围住？一、两、三、四、五、六、七，七个，对不？对不对 ？Seven percent. 要七个人。Seven percent to stand around this interpreter. 这样有七个人才能够把我围住。Seven angels to protect this one person. 保护一个人就需要七个天使了。This is what the scripture means. 这就是经文的意义。The angel of the Lord encamps round about you. 神的天使在你四围安营。They stand shoulder to shoulder. 他们肩与肩并。So close. 这么这么靠近。No Satan can pass through. 以至于撒旦不能够穿透。No gap. 没有缝隙。Even even the legs. No no wait. Even the legs. No gap. 就算在腿上面的。Because the angels' wings are covering there. 也没有空位，因为这个天使的翅膀就把它遮住。This is what the scripture means. 这是经文的意思。Amen. Amen. Come here. 谢谢大家。Give a good clap to all of them. 给他们鼓掌一下。Because she's small in size. Because my this uh, body size is quite small. Seven angels is enough for her. Seven angels is enough for her. Suppose you're a big person. If you're very big. Ah, then you need fourteen angels. Maybe you need fourteen angels. But whether seven angels or fourteen angels, whether it's seven or fourteen, God will protect us from all evil. God will protect us from all evil. Amen. Amen. So when the angels are standing shoulder to shoulder, when the angels are standing shoulder to shoulder, no evil can pass through. No evil can pass through. But when you sin, when you sin, just like we have natural body order, 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 just like we have So when they break away, 当他们离开的时候 ，see there is a gap here now. 你看现在这边有个大缝隙。And Satan comes in. 撒旦就跑进来。And he throws his fiery darts at you. 他就把他的这个火呢就丢向你。Fiery darts of financial. 就是在火的攻击，包括在财务上的攻击。Fiery darts of sicknesses. 或者是疾病的攻击。All kinds of fiery darts. 各样火的火箭。And they attack you. 来攻击你。But when you repent, 当你悔改 ，the blood of Jesus washes you. 主的宝血遮盖你。Then all the angels they come back again. 那么所有的天使又回来了。And they stand around you. 他们又围着你。No evil pass by you. 没有邪恶会经过你。Amen. Amen. This is God's blessings. 这就是神的祝福。This is God's promise for you. 神给你的应许。God is so good. 神真的太好。Too good. 太好了。That's why he has given us so many blessings and so many promises. So he has given us so many blessings and so many promises. Yesterday morning, yesterday evening, I asked you to believe on that. Yesterday morning, I asked you to believe on that. Yesterday morning, I asked you to believe on that. Yesterday morning, I asked you to believe on that. Yesterday morning, I asked you to believe on that. Yesterday morning, I asked you to believe on that.
Why I'm able to say that with such a surety? Because my eyes have seen all this invisible reality. That's why I'm able to tell you with surety. No evil can touch us. So how can evil touch you? When the angel is standing in front of you. Before the evil can touch your hand, they'll have to touch the angel who's standing in front of you. This is number one. And even if the angels move away, before they can touch your skin, the blood of Jesus is there. It's another layer of protection. See, just like the clothes we wear. You cannot see my skin because I'm wearing clothes. In the same way, this clothes is like the covering of Jesus' blood. So there is a covering there. And Satan cannot touch your skin. Because the blood covering is there. But when it is removed, when the blood covering is removed, ah, then Satan can touch you. See two covering. God protects us from so many evil. Let me share with you one secret. If you read the book of Exodus very carefully, you will find one, four layers of protection. God told Moses to construct the tabernacle. The tabernacle is like a wooden construction. So, to prevent the structure to be destroyed from natural forces, God commanded Moses to put four layers of covering on top of the tabernacle. Four layers. So, on top of the wooden structure, there is a first layer. On top of the first layer, a second layer. Then a third layer. And then a fourth layer. Four layers of protection to protect and cover the tabernacle from atmospheric destruction. In the same way, there are four layers of protection for the believers. Firstly, the angels of God in the outer layer. Then when it's broken, then comes a third layer. So we will go from the fourth to the first. So the fourth layer. But from the outside, it is the first layer. Am I confusing you? Understand everybody? Please understand this. This is very important. So the fourth layer, which is the first from the outside, is the layer of angelic protection. Then the second, third layer, is the Holy Spirit, always hovering you like a dove, and surrounds you with His holy presence. See, you read in Matthew chapter 3 verse 16, when the Lord Jesus came out of the water, the Holy Spirit came upon him, and he rested upon him. So that is the third layer. Holy Spirit protection. Then the second layer, the blood of Jesus. It is there. Then comes the first layer. 
the first layer is the Lord Jesus Himself within you. 就是主耶稣他在你的里面。He's right within you. 他就在你的里面。Amen. Amen. Four layers of protection. 有四层的保护。God protects us from all evil. 保护我们远离一切的邪恶。My dearly beloved brothers and sisters. 所以我亲爱的弟兄姐妹。See how much God loves you. 神是多么的爱你。No evil can touch you. 没有什么邪恶可以触摸你。Because you are God's peculiar treasure. 因为你是神的稀世珍宝。Exodus 19 verse 5. 出埃及记十九章第五节。Peculiar treasure. 是特殊的珍宝。Very very special. 非常非常的特别。Very very significant. 非常非常的重要。You are to him. 你对他就是这样。Please don't think there are so many millions of people in Taiwan. How does God know me? 不要这样想，以为台湾有几百万人，神怎么会认识我 ？Have you ever thought like that? 有没有这样想过？有没有？有。Some say yes, some say no. 有的人说有，有的人说没有。There are some people who think like that. 有些人会这样想。Let me tell you one thing. I think there are about 200 sitting here. 大概我们这里有两百个人。When I look from here, 从我这里看去 ，I see about 200 people. 我大概看有两百个人。But when the Lord Jesus comes near you, 可是当主耶稣靠近你 ，It doesn't matter there are 200 people here. 他不是不管有几百个人在这儿。To the Lord Jesus, you are the only one. 对主耶稣来讲，你就是一个。And she's the only one. 你也是那一位。He's the only one. 你也是那唯一的。My eyes sees 200 people. 我的眼睛看到两百人。But the eyes of the Lord Jesus only see 一个，一个，一个，一个。可是主耶稣的眼睛只看到每一个都是唯一的。You like to hear one secret? 再跟你讲个秘密好吗 ？Do you believe all things I say? 你相信我所说的这一切吗？ Anybody has any doubts? 有没有人有怀疑的？有没有 ？You believe me? 你相信我吗 ？One day I was conducting a meeting here. 有一天呢，我在这里举办一个聚会。As I was praying, 当我祷告的时候 ，The Lord Jesus came and stood by my side. 主耶稣站在我的旁边。And he said, 他说 ，I'm going to bless the people today. 今天我要祝福百姓。So、I was so happy. 我很高兴啦。Because when you are blessed, I am happy. 当你得祝福，我就很高兴。Amen. Amen. So then the Lord moved. 主就移动，他。When he came among the people, 他走到人们当中。It was one Lord Jesus who came out. But when he came near the people, 是主耶稣这一位，他走到前面靠近人们。I saw the Lord Jesus multiplied and standing beside every one of them. 我看到主耶稣呢，怎么变得很多的主耶稣站在每一个人旁边。That meeting was so much larger than this one. 那个聚会比现在的人数多多了。I think there were about 1,000 people there. 我想大概有一千个人。Every one of them. 他们每一位。Every one of them. 每一位。One person, one Jesus for one person. 每一个人旁边都有一位耶稣。When I saw that that day. 当我那一天看到这个意象。Then I remember what the Bible says. 我就记得圣经这样说。We are peculiar treasure. 我们是特殊的珍宝。When the Lord looks at you, 当主耶稣看着你 ，You are the only one in this world. 他，你在他的眼中就是这世界上唯一的一位。No other person in this world exists. 其他的人都不存在。When you pray, 当你祷告 ，All his ears are attentive to your prayer. 他的耳朵完全专心听你的祷告。He's listening to your prayer. 他就是听你的祷告。Please don't think that God may not know whether you exist. 千万不要以为呢，神不知道你是否存在。Erase that from your mind right now. 现在不要再有这种想法了。Many years ago, 许多年前 ，I went to minister at an Indian church in Singapore. 我在新加坡去服侍一个印度人的教会。So after the meeting was finished, 这个聚会完结之后 ，the pastor's wife came to talk to me. 牧师的太太来跟我说话。And she started talking. 她就开始讲话。And she started crying. 就开始哭。I was wondering why she's crying. 我就想她为什么哭。And she said, "I feel very unloved." 我觉得我都不被爱。All the believers only will flock to my husband, the pastor. 所有的这个人的爱呢，都是朝向我的丈夫牧师。They will ask him, "Pastor, 你好。他们会说，牧师你好啊。But nobody will look at me and ask me anything. 
When they look at me, they say, Sumo. And they walk away. When they see the pastor, oh, oh, so she began to feel unloved. And that Sumo prayed for all the church members. When, when the church members have a problem, she cries with them. And she was weeping and weeping. I did not know how to console her. I said, don't cry, Musumu. The more I said, the more she cried. I seem to have that gift, you know. So many cases I've seen over the years. When I say, don't cry. Mei, don't cry. Sumu, don't cry. Don't cry. The more they cry. <laughs> so nowadays, I learn to say nothing. Anyway, I began to pray for her. So I said, Lord Jesus, as soon as I said that, the Lord Jesus came. And he asked me, What do you want? You know, God is so nice, so kind, so wonderful. Said, what do you want? I said, Lord, please look at your daughter. And the Lord looked at her. The look on his face was as if he has never seen her before. But don't misunderstand what I just said. It does not mean he, does, he has never seen her before. It's like as if when I said, please look at your daughter, Suddenly he seen. As if something was missing on his daughter's face all the while. You understand? Please don't misunderstand that the Lord doesn't know you exist. So when I said, Lord, please look at your daughter. I so said, Lord looked at her. And she was weeping and weeping and crying. The Lord looked at her for a long time. Then he looked up at me and he said, Tell her this. Two years ago, her shoes had broken. And she decided to buy a new pair of shoes. And her husband is in the ministry. He doesn't have extra income. Whenever he gets money, he helps the poor people in the church. So she asks her husband for a new pair of shoes. So the husband told her, When God blesses, I will get you one. So they receive a special offering. Someone gave them a personal offering. So the husband gave her the money. Here, go and get yourself a new pair of shoes. So the Sumo was so happy. After the Sunday service, they were planning to go to the shop to buy a new pair of shoes. That Sunday, a special missionary came to their church. This missionary is doing ministry among the tribal people in India. So after the missionary has shared his message, so the Sumo said, uh, no, the Musu said, we are going to take a special offering to bless the missionary. Please ask the Holy Spirit how much he wants you to give. And everybody was praying. And this Sumu was thinking, 
，圣母就在想。Oh, what time the meeting is going to finish? 哎呀，这个聚会什么时候结束啊 ？As she was thinking. 当她在想的时候。She felt in her heart. 在她心里，她觉得。Give that money you have. 把你的钱给出去。What she said. 可是她说。This is my money. 是我的钱。I need to buy new shoes. 我要买鞋子。Again, she felt a compassion in her heart. 再一次，他又看到里面的一个怜悯跟热情。To give the money for the poor people， 要把钱给穷人。So she thought in her mind， 他就心里想。At least my shoes are broken and is still able to wear it。虽然鞋子坏了，还是可以穿嘛。But this poor missionary， 可是这个可怜的宣教士 ，without wearing any shoes， 他都没有鞋子穿。He walks for so many miles to bring the gospel to the tribal people。走了这么多里路呢，就是把福音去带给那些少数民族。So let me sacrifice my shoes. 让我把我买鞋的钱牺牲了吧。So she took the money and put in the offering bag. 她就把钱放到奉献袋。Now nobody saw this. 没有人看见。But the Lord saw that. 可是主耶稣看到。And he told me. 他告诉我。Say, tell my daughter. 告诉我的女儿。When she put the money in the offering bag. 当她把钱放在奉献袋。I was standing there and seeing. Her do this. 我站在她旁边，看到她做这件事。When I narrated this to the sumo, 当我把这件事向这个师母陈述 ，She fell down to the floor and she cried and she cried and she cried. 她又跌倒在地板上，又在哭，又在哭，又在哭。So I I have another gift. 这就是我另一个恩赐啊。When I ask how are you, 当我问说你好吗 ？Don't cry. 不要哭。They cry. 他们都哭。And when I give a revelation, 当我给他们个启示 ，they also cry. 他们也哭。So that Sumu, she cried and she cried and she cried. 这个师母就不断的在哭泣。In between her crying, she asked me a question. 在她的哭泣之中，她问我一个问题。Did the Lord really see that? 主耶稣真的看到了吗 ？So I told her, if He didn't see that, how do I know that? 我说，假如主耶稣没看到，我怎么会知道这件事啊？是不是？ I was not there that day. 那一天我又没有在那。How do I know that? 我怎么会知道 ？And she was so shocked and surprised. 她自己就觉得非常的惊讶。She said that was only a small amount. 她说这只是一小一点点钱。But the Lord told me to tell her. 可是主耶稣叫我告诉她。That gift that she gave that day was is so precious to him. 这个礼物呢，他。当时给这奉献对主耶稣来讲是非常珍贵。Because it did not come out of the pocket， 它不是从他自己的口袋拿出来。That offering did not come out of the pocket but came out of the heart， 而是从他的心里拿出来的。Amen。Amen。That is why it is very important when you give your offering, give out of your heart。这很重要的就是当你给奉献的时候，要从你的心给出来。Don't give out of your pocket， 不是从你的口袋拿出来。When the time comes for offering。如果奉献的时候 ，You look at your handbag. 你看看你的手袋。See how much money you have. 你看你有多少钱。How much money you can give. 有多少钱你可以给出去。That is not giving. 这不是给呀、啊。That is not. That is coming out of your pocket. 这只是把钱从你口袋拿出来。But when you give out of your heart. 可是当你从心里给出去。You are not seeing what is in your bank account. 你所看到的不是你在银行里有多少钱。You are listening to the Holy Spirit. 你是在听圣灵的声音。And he, you give everything. 那么你就把一切给出去。I remember one incident. 我记得有一次。Four years ago. 四年前。I went to the U.S. 我去到美国。And I shared about the television network that we are doing in India. 我们就我就跟他们分享我在印度所做的这个呃电视施工。And I said we need to raise. 15 million U.S. dollars. 说我们需要一千五百万美金。How much is that in Taiwan dollars? 一千五百万乘以三十三。三十三。多少 ？Fifteen times thirty-three. Any mathematician here? No. 大概四亿或五亿之类。About about. Four hundred and eighty million Taiwan dollars. 大四百八十几亿。Is that a lot of money? 很多钱吗 ？Doesn't matter. Don't be. Don't put. Give me fail mark or pass mark. Doesn't matter. 不要算我算的对不对？我的数学对不对 ？It's about that amount of money. 但是大概这样多钱。So I was raising these funds. 所以我就是在这个募款。And the pastor was sitting and listening to all that. 这个牧师就坐在那里听
So after the, my message, I said, I would like you all to sow into our ministry. Please close your eyes. And now you ask the Holy Spirit. How much you can sow into this ministry? So the pastor, pastor closed his eyes. And the Holy Spirit told him, You sow $3,000. But he had no money. So when he has no money, how to sow $3,000? So his wife, so he told, he, he, uh, he nudged her. He said, Honey, he said, Honey, the Lord told me to sow 3,000 into Sadhu Musu's ministry. What do you say? He said, Honey, 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 but we have no money. So we don't She said, "Doesn't matter. You obey God." 没关系, so they put the money on the credit card. So they put the money on the credit card. So they put the money on the credit card. So they put the money on the credit card. they were blessed four times more than they gave. They put the money on the credit Pay back the money to the bank. And they had more than they gave. See, their giving did not come out of their pocket. Because in their pocket there was no money. But because they gave out of their heart. The Lord gave them good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and flowing over. So Amen. Amen. So this is how God will bless you and gather you and honor you in this new year. So Amen. Amen.